These photos taken this morning and shared with RTE News show people at the City West Transit Hub in Dublin sleeping on chairs and on the floor. Last week, capacity here was so stretched that more than 300 Ukrainian refugees arriving into Ireland had to sleep at the old terminal building at Dublin Airport on two nights. It's not acceptable at all. It shouldn't be in this way. We should be able to prepare better to make sure that people, when they come in, in the country, uh, at least they have a, a, they have a place. No one has stayed at the airport since last Thursday, but 780 people slept in City West last night. There is some reliance on, on, on people staying in, in, in chairs in City West. And again, that's why we've been focused on trying to reduce the overall numbers of people uh, staying in, in, in City West. That's why we're looking to bring on additional accommodation. Some of that extra space is here at the Gormanston Army Camp in Meath. The first 150 Ukrainian people, mainly families, will move in here from tomorrow, staying 16 to a tent. And the minister said they'll stay here for a week at most. One particular concern we have around Gormanstown is that in our experience, short-term solutions and direct provision, remember, was a short-term solution, was only ever meant for six months, become long-term problems. So if we are going to use camp style accommodation, we'd recommend that it be for as short a period as possible uh, and that people stay in it for as short a period as possible. As the arrivals continue, government plans to open a second welcome centre like City West in the next few weeks and the first refurbished buildings provided by the Department of Housing will be ready for 500 people to move in this week. Laura Hogan, RTE News.